the momentum Senator Thad Cochran has now over challenger State Senator Chris McDaniel. He sat down with 16 WAPT's Burt Case today for a one on one interview at his Ridgeland office. Former Governor Barber is an outspoken supporter of the Cochran campaign, but the former national chairman of the GOP has a distinct perspective on this neck and neck race. How's this race going to go, Governor? I think it'll be close again. Clearly, the momentum has shifted to favor Cochran, and I think the reason is before the first primary, the focus was on this nasty, negative campaign, sneaking in Ms. Cochran's room and taking pictures and putting them on the internet, and that sort of smothered policy and regular issues. But since the first primary, the campaign has become increasingly about real issues. How do you explain the fact that uh, you've got the former Republican ticket of John McCain and Sarah Palin split in this race? you got McCain campaigning uh, for Cochran and you've got Palin campaigning for McDaniel. Well, of course, McCain served in the Senate with Cochran since 1986, I guess. And so he knows him and he knows the kind of job he's done. And of course, Senator McCain's family's from here. Admiral McCain, his dad, uh, his grandfather, they're from Carroll County. And that's one of the interesting things about this campaign. Everybody that comes to endorse Chris McDaniel, they come from Alaska, they come from Pennsylvania, some, some TV show host today is on the coast. The people that endorse Cochran are Phil Bryant, Tate Reeves, Philip Gunn, Greg Harper, Alan Nunley, Stephen Palazzo, Roger Wicker, Trent Lott, Brett Favre. What do they all have in common? They're all Mississippians. And what they care about is Mississippi. They've been there for 36 years. Why is Mississippi still on the bottom of this nation's per capita income? Level? Well, one of the reasons is because of our education system is not getting enough of our young people, good enough skills, to get good jobs, we've started changing that some. When Toyota came here, Severstall built the big steel mill in Columbus, never been a steel mill like that in Mississippi, General Electric Aviation. In the last 10 years, and particularly since Katrina, to be quite honest, companies have started saying, wait a minute, Mississippi's okay. Everybody who goes down there like Caterpillar and has six plants, they really like the workforce. Barber accused McDaniel of being reckless with his policies on education. For years, people were afraid they couldn't find enough good workers. And how stupid would it be to eliminate federal aid to education at the time when we are finally getting our kids better education and we're getting our young people better skills so they can have careers. What McDaniel proposes about education in conservative is reckless. The election is June the 24th for the Republican nomination for the U.S. Senate. For K16 WAPT News, Ridgeland.